I'm here to tell you about the social media Bible studies that we are blessed to be able to present since the homes did let us know they do have access to everything they need to be able to connect. We will be going Facebook Live. We will be providing beautiful flyers made by Sister Emily. All members will contribute by taking turns presenting Bible studies. Our goal is to make the Bible studies relatable to everyone, as well as speaking on subjects that God may have put on our heart to discuss. We will start off with the subject, discuss what God has said in the Bible. Then we will share a vulnerable experience we have gone through. We think this is an important aspect of Bible studies because we remind others they are not alone in falling short of the glory of God. We also will express how God wants us to handle situations by representing Him in the best possible way we can. For example, forgiveness, Ephesians 4.32, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you, Mark 11.25, and whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. There was a time in my life where I had someone betray me and I was full of hurt, anger, and bitterness. I was blinded by pain. God sent me someone, a vessel, to remind me who I am in Christ, a child of God. And I experienced a comforting presence during this conversation. And I realized it was time for me to forgive and I also asked God for forgiveness. And afterward, I felt like I could breathe again. I could laugh and I could smile. I realized the person that hurt me was hurting and I began to pray for them. The enemy's whole goal was to make you abandon Christ. His whole goal was to get your eyes off of God. God himself will take what the enemy meant for evil and he will use it for good. This was just a brief example of what our Bible studies will be like. We will also be sure to mention we are open to any questions anyone may have our Bible studies will be a safe, loving place, and we are excited to spread the word of God. And now I would like to introduce you to Brother Andrew.